So do you think a GTX 1050 in a uh, laptop can uh, play VR games? Well, let's find out. Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disown, and today we're going to take a look at the uh, GTX 1050 in the uh, Sager NP 5855 and we've viewed to see if it can handle VR games on the HTC Vive. Um, it's not a VR ready uh, laptop, so what does that mean exactly? Well, ideally you want 90 frames per second um, per eye when uh, doing VR to uh, reduce uh, you know, stuttering, lag and uh, motion sickness, because that's, uh, that's a big thing in VR is motion sickness. Um, so they say that a, a desktop 970 or a, a laptop GTX 1060 is the is the baseline where you should start at and that's when they start certifying it as being vr ready also i'd like to add to that though is that um, vr ready laptops or desktops a plug and play just plug everything in start a game it's seamless with non-vr laptops it's not quite as simple for example i did do a video on my uh, gtx uh, 980m and got quite a few vr games to work okay but it took a little bit of working to, to get it done to make them full screen to enable what's called the VR compositor and I had the same issues with this one. That being said I tested seven VR games and five of them were playable. Um, out of that five I'd say three of them were, were, were pretty good. Um, Horde Z was fantastic, Space Pirate Trainer was, was very good too, Tilt Brush was fine, that was good, um, Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades that worked but it was a little bit more jittery. Now some games I couldn't get uh, get loaded really, or they would boot up and then crash, or the computer would freeze. So like Sports Bar VR or New Retro Arcade. Um, but in general, it did handle. I was actually I was actually quite surprised. It did handle some VR games fairly well. I mean, you know, you've got to go shoot for ones which are games which don't require that much motion really, perhaps, um, because when you move your head side to side, you might get a bit of jitter. And I did try and capture some of that footage. Um, using my cell phone in the lens to see it's very hard because what you see on the screen isn't exactly what you see uh, on the headset. First up we look at Horde Z, a zombie fighting game. Now in this game you can alter the quality settings so I have everything set to low. Now Horde Z worked great, it was the best one. It was fluid, there was no issues at all. Um, very good. The top right image is taken from my cell phone held in the lens of the headset, hopefully trying to give you, uh, you know, a viewpoint of what I see. Let's take a look at Space Pirate Trainer. This is a game where you're shooting uh, space drones up in the air and does require quite a bit of movement and head movement in particular, so it's a good test. This game works surprisingly well as well. Not as good as Horde Z, but you know, not far off. Certainly playable. It's difficult to capture the actual footage from the, the headset, but hopefully it gives you an idea of what it looks like. Tilt Brush by Google is a art application. Um, it's, it's very good. You can paint and draw and do special effects in, in uh, virtual reality. There's not much head motion uh, required in this, so it was fairly playable. There was a little bit of jitter, but it certainly was fine. Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades is a fire range simulation game and you can adjust the quality settings which is good. I put it on the Turbo Potato setting. Now there certainly was a lot more jitter uh, in this game but you can still play it um, but it wasn't the most comfortable. Unfortunately my cell phone uh, camera doesn't quite pick up the, the jitter that I actually see. So if anybody has any ideas on how to capture such footage please let me know. But I think all in all it did okay. I mean, you can, um, if you wanted to get into uh, VR and you already have perhaps a laptop like this or um, a GTX 980M or, or even perhaps a 970M, perhaps that might do okay too because this performs the same as a 965M. So perhaps even a 970M would be okay. So just to get, get your feet wet in VR, it's, it's worth a try, isn't it? So anyway, thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you like and sub to see some more videos. Thank you. Bye.